Welcome to Cosmic Mysteries, where we explore the mysterious secrets of our expansive universe. In this episode, we embark on a captivating journey to unravel the cosmic riddle known as the Hubble Tension. Join me as we explore the frontiers of astrophysics and discover groundbreaking research that sheds new light on the expansion of the universe. A group of scientists from different countries has found a new way to measure how fast the universe is getting bigger. This measurement is called the Hubble constant. The recent method of measurement adds to a perplexing issue that has confused scientists for nearly a decade, referred to as the Hubble tension. Scientists who study space have known for over 100 years that the universe is expanding. They now also know that the expansion is happening faster and faster. The problem arises from the fact that various measurements of the current rate of expansion do not align with each other. One way to measure this expansion is by looking at a special kind of star called a Cepheid star, which has a certain brightness. Because the light from the star gets dimmer the farther away it is, knowing its brightness can tell us how far it is. In 1929, Edwin Hubble used Cepheid stars and other measurements to figure out a number for the constant. Since then, scientists have used Cepheid star measurements along with information from exploding stars to study the universe even farther away. Another way to measure expansion is through something called the cosmic microwave background. This is a kind of radiation that has come to Earth from shortly after the Big Bang. The new method described in this research is different. It involves something called gravitational lensing. If there's a big cluster of galaxies in front of a source of light, like an exploding star, the cluster's gravity can bend the path of the light. From Earth, we see the light forming arcs or multiple images of the exploding star. But that's not all. The different paths the light takes also have different lengths, so the images don't reach us at the same time. If there's an event that changes quickly, like an exploding star, we should see it in different places multiple times. Scientists have been searching for this kind of exploding star since 1964, when a scientist named Sjur Refsdal wrote a paper about it. In late 2014, they finally found one and named it the Refsdal Supernova. They observed it using the gravitational lensing effect of a huge cluster of galaxies. They saw four different images of the supernova, arranged like a cross, and then they waited for a fifth image to appear a year later. From this, they could calculate how much the universe expanded during the waiting period, which gave them another measurement of the Hubble constant. The result is closer to the measurement from the cosmic microwave background than the one from exploding stars. So does it really solve the puzzle? I'm afraid not. Rather, it adds to the confusion. Thank you for joining us on this exciting voyage. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Cosmic Mysteries, for more captivating scientific content. Until next time, keep exploring the cosmic wonders that await us.